Welcome everybody, thanks for joining. And I uh, want to give you all some tips. Uh, we just had a litter today, it's our first day. I'm going to give you all some good information. We're really pleased with this litter. Afeni is a first time mom. Today she had five puppies. Just now, fresh out. Mom's settled in, she's nice and relaxed. We got our heat lamp, radiating heat, providing a nice ambient temperature. The puppies are nice and comfortable. Got some really impressive puppies. Really impressive puppies. Uh, this is off of Cairo. And I'm looking at the puppies on the very first day. And look at the bone, look at the bone on some of these, these pups. Puppies is nursing good. You hear they're not making a whole lot of noise. And the little faint, the little faint sounds that they're making, whimpers. Now, here's a big tip. So, Afeni is a new mom. She's not very experienced. So she doesn't know how to lay in order to give the puppies her uh, access to all the boobs. So what you had to do is you had to come in. And how I do it is I step over to this paw here, grab this paw, and I get her to lay down. Lay down, girl. Now, that's showing her how to lay. And this is going to be a real good litter because we only have five puppies here in a situation like that. So, in a situation like this, when you only got five puppies, you want to have ideal amounts, well, abundance of milk and resources for each individual puppy. That one there is real nice, super big. I, I, it's three super nice males and they're super large. And I thought she would have more puppies, but I'm okay with this. I mean, I'm really satisfied with five puppies. Anytime that you have healthy puppies, you can't ask for much more than that, you know. Some people like to have large litters. My preference personally is for six to nine. Any Anywhere from six to nine is a good amount of puppies. And you see how mom is nice and relaxed and comfortable, just kind of like bathing in the heat. And see what I'm doing, I grab, I got a hold of her paw and I'm gonna help her um, try to get an idea how I want her to lay. So I'm gonna gently just guiding her Head like so, lay down, right? Then we're gonna pull the breast out from up under. These puppies is hours old. Now see these back here, those are the real good breasts. Those are the real good teats. Puppy's real strong, real strong. We're really pleased. And this is a first time mom, so we gotta we gotta guide her, we gotta show her. You can just go ahead and relax, baby girl. I got you. I got you. I'm gonna make sure it's really important. First day, mom's gonna be releasing colostrum. So uh, it's important that we get the puppies all on the tip, all nursing really good, a lot of, as much colostrum as we possibly can. Also, it's good to start your handling right now. See, so all of this hands-on with the puppies, it fluctuates the temperature. When I pull them away from the nest over here, the temperature is a little bit cooler. That's a mild form of stress. What that does is start to acclimate the puppy and activate the nervous system 
a neurological stimulation that stimulates them. We got a cold towel, a towel, a wet towel here. And then you're gonna take the towel, put the puppy on the towel, front paws, back paws. Mom said, what you doing? Take the puppy, turn the puppy upside down. This is handling. So this, this type of stuff that's going into your dog from the very first day. You see, I'm still I'm schooling the mom. She said, what did you just do to my dog? What did you just do to him? I ain't did nothing to him. And she don't want to lay down. She got to do her investigation, make sure everything is. This is a good mom. You see her leaking, uh, licking uh, the pup. So that's that's what you want. That's an indication of a mom that's instinctual. Wow, look at that head on that puppy for the first day. Look at that puppy. It's strong. So it's another real good indication that nothing is nothing is wrong. You know, this is the everything is nice and quiet. The puppies is quiet. They comfortable. Mom's not patting. She doesn't look um, stressed in any way. These is all good signs. Our puppies is active. They nursing good. Now what they looking for is. Are they looking for the heat or are they looking for? Thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. I, I say so too. I agree. They look. I think they look good. Also, so important thing. We want to make sure everybody is nursing that puppy down there. Nope. See, you you'll be confused. You 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 if you were leaving it up to the puppies. I don't do that. Just say, oh, yeah, they look like they nursing. They doing good. They all bunched up. Well, that I know she don't have three teats right on top. Primary concern is going to be this smallest puppy. Got him on. These bigger ones is going to find their way, make their way to a teat when they get hungry enough. So we got one there. And then we got this puppy here. Act like he can't find one. Let this guy eat. Got his nose more in the direction. Try to get him on there. I don't know what's up with that big guy. Yeah, right. ooh. Yeah, right. yeah, belly full. Another good sign. So, see how these. This is how another way that you check the puppies out right here. Take your finger. And then you can pick the puppy up from here. Now, that's a full belly. See how the abdomen. That's how you do it. See how it is. That's a full belly. Now, empty stomach. You start to get concerned when a puppy is like two or three days old. You look right here. You start to see hips or you start to see the spine right there you know that the puppy ain't gaining weight you got a problem you look right there that area will be flat you won't see any you'll see the ribs they'll be very pronounced and the belly will be empty you know you got a problem it's important to get on top of the puppies quick you see that puppy's reflex that let you know he's hydrated so these are all good signs for the first day, for day one. And, um, you know, it's not about, you know, what we know. And if this can help somebody, we want to help somebody that, that's interested in about flossing or flexing or, you know, we got the best way. I'm just trying to show people that is interested in becoming breeders or want to be uh, involved with having puppies and stuff. It's more to it than just having a dog and then boom. You know, like I'm in here, it's 10 to 12, 11. I don't know what time it is. I've been in here though. I ain't going nowhere. And I'm cool with that. 
See, I want to make sure this puppy is nursing good. This was a smaller one. It struggled in the beginning. 